assalamu alaikum in this video i'll discuss problem 11 and 12 of the inequalities involving fractional terms so here we are given problem 11 and in order to solve this kind of inequality we need to get rid from the fraction terms and for that we can choose lcm method that we need to multiply on both sides of the equation with the least common denominator and with the help of that we can get rid from the friction terms and we can solve the inequality and also as here we don't have any variable term here we can simplify it with the help of cross multiplication is the same as we solve other inequalities so let us do that first of all we will multiply throughout the inequality with 5 and then now here it will be cancelled out and we will left with 4 times x minus 2 and then here we have 5 upon 3 times x minus x now we need to get it from this 3 then we need to multiply 3 on both side of the inequality so 4 times x minus 2 less than 3 times 5 upon 3 x minus 5 so it will be cancelled out and we will be left with 12 x minus 2 less than 5 times x minus c now we need to simplify this inequality for the variable x we need to multiply this 12 and 5 inside the brackets that would be 12 x minus 24 less than 5 x minus 30 now we will shift the like terms on the same side for that we will shift this 5x here on the left hand side negative 5x this would be as it is 5x negative 5x and then it will be cancelled out and we will left with 12 minus 5 so that would be a 7x minus 24 less than negative 30 now we need to shift this constant term on the right side that would be less than negative 30 plus 24 it will be cancelled out and we will left with 7x strictly less than here we will get 6 and negative 6 that would be now we will divide throughout the inequality by 7 And we will get from here x is strictly less than negative 6 upon 7. So this would be the solution to that inequality. Now this is equal to negative 0 0.857. 1 and up to so on you can check it until four digits it's enough to write so now we will see that how we can present it over the number line so here maybe we have zero we can take here we have negative one and now x is less than this number this means this is the upper bound so here 
this 0 0.8 would be somewhere here little bit to the right side of this negative one so that would be this number all the way up till infinity negative infinity so that would be the solution representation on the number line and we will not fill this circle this will be open circle because of this strictly less than now We will consider the next question that is question number 12 now here again we have fractional terms in the inequality we need to get rid from this in order to do that we will multiply throughout the inequality by the least common de denominator so we can choose in either of the way so we will simplify it We will multiply we will uh, we will consider here the cross multiplication here because here we don't have any problem we don't have x variable that can be a problem so here we will multiply with 4 x plus 5 strictly less is less than or equal to 2 times 12 plus 3x now we need to multiply inside this term 4 and 2 that would be negative 4x negative 20 less than equal to 24 plus 6x now we will shift the same terms or the like terms on the same side negative 4x negative 6x negative 20 so 24 plus 6x minus 6x it will be cancel out and we will left with here negative 10x minus 20 less than equal to 24 now we need to shift this 20 to the right side 24 plus 20 negative 10x less than equal to 44 so now we need to simplify it for the variable x for that we will divide throughout the inequality with negative 10 and if we are dividing the inequality by negative number so this will be reverse and now we will have x is greater than or equal to here we can cancel out it so that would be negative 22 upon 5 so that would be the solution and we can check it what is this we can divide it and that would be equal to 4.4 so x is greater than or equal to 4.4 and how we can represent it on the number line here this is negative 4.4 and now here let's see here we have 4 negative 4 on the number line here will be somewhere maybe 0 negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 and negative 4 negative 5 and up to so on till negative infinity so that would be negative 4.4 will be somewhere here so that would be the solution that would be on the number line actually so that would be this one and now this time as we have this relation greater than equal to so this mean okay now here this is greater than equal to sorry here that would be not this one because here now this is the lowest bound because all x is greater than this would be the solution this one and all the all x is 
optal positive infinity would be the solution for this inequality so it would be actually this would be a lower bound and we will fill up this circle because here we have the relation this is greater than equal to this is a lower bound so all the way up till positive infinity that would be the solution and we can write it into the interval form like this or negative 4.4 till infinity so this would be the solution to that inequality and also we can take any number from here from this interval and we can check it this inequality will be satisfied and if we will take any other number other than this interval it will be false